don't you just hate it when the mirror is so fogged up that you can't shave, you can't put on your makeup or do your hair? There's got to be a better way, and I think I know what it is. An electric mirror defogger, and it's really easy to install. Now here is the defogger unit. It's going to fit against the wall right in behind the mirror here. That means that we're going to have to bring current from here down to this unit. That's not a problem. The next thing we need to do is to get rid of the mirror. Now to remove the mirror, these top brackets just slide up. That allows you to then lift it out of the bottom brackets which are fixed. Now the next thing we're going to do is to see where it's going to fit up here on the wall. We want to center it so we can use these brackets up here to center it. Also we want to be sure that it's high enough so that the mirror is going to be clear above eye level. Once we get it there, let's mark it. Next we need to mark for the electrical box and it needs to be about an inch and a half above the top of our defogger. So we'll position it like that and I can use the electrical box as our template. So when we cut out, we'll cut out the right size. The next thing we need to do is to take a drywall saw or a keyhole saw and start over in a corner right here. And just by twisting you're going to go right through the sheetrock and now you can turn your saw around and start cutting. Now you don't have to worry about being an exact cut in here because it's all going to be covered over with the mirror but we do want to get far enough over here so that the box will fit in there. Now we're over that far, we'll start on an upward cut, or an upper cut as they call it in boxing. Now if for some reason you don't want this little scrap to fall down between the hollow wall here, just take a piece of tape and stick on there. Now as soon as you got it all cut, you're ready to put in the box. But first, we need to go to the circuit breaker box. Now remember, you must respect electricity. Anytime you're working with electricity, you gotta be sure you don't have any current to the circuit you're working on. This is the one right here. Now with the electricity cut off to this circuit, we can remove the fixture and start wiring so we bring current down to our defogger. That comes right off. Next we have to undo these wire nuts. Incidentally, in some areas you may have to have a licensed electrician to do this. If you do, well, just go ahead and do it. If you feel confident though, it's a fairly easy project if you'll just play it safe. Just about got it off of there now. Now we need to get current from here down to here. And we're going to use a regular 12 gauge wire. We don't have to measure real closely, just be sure we have enough to work with. So we'll lop it off right about there. The next thing we need to do is to remove some of this insulation and in order to do that I'm just going to take a utility knife and slit. Now we should be able to pull this aside and strip it back and then cut that off. That's going to reveal these wires that we're going to also need to strip off. And for that I'm going to use a tool called a, a wire stripper and I'm going to take off about three quarters of an inch here. And we'll do the same thing on the other end and we'll be ready to hook it up in there. Now our object is to get the wires from this box up here from the fixture down to the new box that we've created down at the defogger. There's a little hole in this box up here. We had to punch out a little thing called a knockout and now we just need to feed it on through here. Now this lines up perfectly and all we have to do is just pull it out of the wall here. So now it's time to reattach the light fixture. As you can see we've taken the bulbs out to make it a little easier to handle. And we're going to take a wire from the right socket and one from the left socket, twist them together, add them to the black wires. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side to the white wires. Now all we have to do is take this little plastic wire nut and slip it over our wires that are twisted together and turn clockwise until it's good and tight. Now we have a good connection there. Now that looks good. All we have to do is just reattach our light fixture. and We're almost home free. Now when we cut into the wall we found that there's no stud on either side so we got a special kind of a box here that's called a cutout box. And when we put it through the wall there 
and we turn the screws that are up here and down here, we're going to be able to see that this is going to go up and will come up against the inside wall to secure the box. Now we're just going to push the box in all the way and hold on to the wire so it doesn't go back in there. We don't want to lose it. And secure the box in place. Now it's time to attach the defogger and we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to use wire nuts. We've already stripped off so we've got just a little bit of wire left over here and it's more of the same thing just using the wire nuts to make a real good connection. Now the wire nuts just slip on and the good thing about these is that they really do pull the wires together, twist them around and make a really good connection. Now we want to get the wires poked back in place back here and then I said it was going to be easy and the reason it's going to be so easy to install it is because it's actually peel and stick. Now before I peel it all the way down I want to get it lined up with my lines up here at the top and get it centered up here. Now I'm going to stick it in place over here like so. Be sure it's going to be lined up over here. Now all we have to do is peel this all the way down and press it in place. When you get the other three or other two strips done, you're in business. Now we need to put the mirror back in place. But let me tell you, the defogger is in there. It looks good and it's flat against the wall. The next thing we'll need to do is to put our light bulbs back and find out if the thing really works. I guess we better turn on the electricity. Well, now that our project is finished, let's find out if it really works. I'm going to turn the current back on. Hey, it really does work. I think I can finish my shave now. You know, it took us a couple of hours. It was a fun project. It cost about 175 bucks, but I think it's well worth it. Mm -hmm.